Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ty and I go by Ty is Typing. If you're not new, then welcome back. I know, um, new hair. It's not new, it's just a different wig. Um, other wig is actually drying. So, as you guys can see by the title, I am doing a, I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't know why I had the thought to, to call it a first impressions, but I'm gonna talk about my experience going to the Alexandra Wimbush um, Tea Party series, the first of her mini series, um, which was hosted in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you guys want to hear me talk about the brand, about the tea series, and if you guys think, um, you know, what, what are my takes on it, um, the tea on the tea series, I'm actually sipping some of her tea right now. I was letting it, you know, steep for a little bit so I can get, you know, my, look, my little fix and look cute sipping tea talking about the tea series i thought it was only right and it's a little corny but yes yeah, so if you guys want to hear me talk about my experience um attending the atlanta tea party series for alexander Wimbush and also um what the brand is about and do i recommend and stuff like that then keep on watching about two or three weeks ago i attended the first of many series for the Alexandra um, Wimbush uh, Tea Party Series. So if you guys don't know about the brand, it is a uh, it's a self-care brand. So um, like Brittany has mentioned, is that it's like getting a self-care package in a box. So packages that she has, you can get um, a scented candle that is paired with um, a tea, like a you get a couple of tea bags and also a curated playlist which i think is really really good so basically what the brand work represents is just really taking care of yourself and really pushing for self-care and this whole tea series that she started was a very 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 good not only great idea but it's a great marketing idea too so um the brand essentially it just promotes self-care self-awareness and really just taking the time to just have your own peace and that's what i like i think she said that it's like a piece in a box which is really cute it was a cost so you could either pay 50 dollars for general admission or 75 dollars i think 75 dollars for um vip so uh, what you all get is that you get a four course meal um so that includes like your um your salad your um your appetizer your 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 entree and your dessert and it also um comes with one cocktail i think it was pretty affordable for you to get a four course meal plus a cocktail plus a nightcap for 50 bucks that's very rare to find in any type of restaurant 50 to 75 bucks uh 75 dollars um, for vip is that you get um a unlimited cocktails which i think is pretty good too so for 25 more dollars you could have got unlimited cocktails i don't know if it's going to be the same price for the next city which i don't think it was too crazy i think it was very affordable especially for all that you got when i went there the vibe was set it was so beautiful walking in and just seeing um the ambiance and just how everything just looked it just it was a vibe like i walked in to think um i think it was ari lennox or scissor playing it was something but the vibe was really set to where you felt like you were at a very classy um, women's only dinner and we sat down we immediately started engaging with women who came in I went with one of my um, friends Taylor and they uh, we just started engaging and it was just I feel like the vibe was just set to really engage because you were just you walked in and you was excited every woman was excited and expressed it differently but for the venue location I thought it was really good if you guys are um, living in Atlanta excuse me so if you guys live in Atlanta it was in Smyrna which I think is a I, I I think it's a neutral location from both directions because it I feel like it's roughly around 25 20 to 25 to 30 minutes from any direction you're coming from so I, I really think she considered that which I really like and um, I personally love the Smyrna area so you know I'm a bit biased for that but I thought I, I personally think it's a good neutral location to tell people to come to um, it wasn't hard to find and um, it wasn't hard to find at all but again it was really really beautiful it was just the vibe was just so beautiful and like i hope these clips got some of the music that was playing in the background but you just felt calm and relaxed and just like at an upper class like members only but not like in a bougie snarky way just it felt it felt good it was bomb it was beautiful it was all that so the bar she set the bar already right there already right there um the bar was set now however um since atlanta is a bit bipolar with weather we did have to change locations but what i appreciate is that she already had a plan a b and c because literally when we felt like the slightest bit of drizzle 
Um, we collected our um, our items that we had. We just had finished, I think, our um, our salads. Yeah, I don't think we got to. No, we haven't gotten to our appetizer. So it, we caught it pretty early, and we went into the inside the venue because it was outside, as you guys can see at first. And we went inside. We were waiting for them to set up. They were super nice. Um, the people who were helping setting up like the servers and things like that who she had and stuff like that were getting our plates helping us get our bags and stuff like that and we only waited for about maybe 10 minutes max and we went inside inside was beautiful too they had like this chandelier and stuff like that it was again upper class and I really did appreciate that um, even though um, she already had it set to be outside and I, I, of course it was already beautiful and I'm sure it would have ended on a great note. The fact that she was prepared to do that, I really appreciate that and it again it still set the, the vibe and the tone. And I actually feel like um, she should do that for all the other series. I think it was really cute. I don't know why, like I know it wasn't planned, but I think going inside for like the um, the main entree and the dessert was really really cool and it kind of made me feel like you know it was setting the tone again but I know she didn't plan it because of the weather but I really like that she did accommodate that for us. So now the food. The food was freaking amazing. Let me see if I can remember exactly. I'm gonna look at my phone to see exactly what. The first um, item is a baby farm green so it was Baby Farm Greens topped with watermelon, radish, candy, pistachios, garlic croutons with a champagne vinaigrette. Now I'm a real, like I'm a foodie so it, I'll try anything once when it comes to food and I'm very, um, I like to experience a lot with food so I know some salads like that people are like, mm, that sounds too like out of my realm or that sounds too like too much to experience but it was really really good. I didn't hear anybody complain about the salad, I thought it was amazing, it was very fresh. Um, everything from everything that she had was super super fresh so then after the salad we had a jumbo lump crab avocado and maple tower served with a papaya puree then we had a choice of grilled salmon or grilled chicken served with margarita tomatoes and a basil balsamic reduction served with Yukon gold mashed gold smashed parmesan potatoes and uh, lemon asparagus and then to end we had New York cheesecake with warm berry comp with a warm berry compote and signature tea craft cocktail. This um, it was pomegranate ginger, which is a tea I'm drinking right now. Cocktail spritz. And um, we also, at the end, had um, uh, Alexander Wimbush lemongrass tea with a shot of. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm not about to embarrass myself. But um, so the food and everything was really, really good. The salad was amazing. Um, the uh, jumbo lump tower was freaking amazing and I literally screenshot and then the tea first of all the presentation of all the food I, I literally felt exquisite I felt fancy I felt rich I felt loved I felt blessed like that's literally how I felt in every I mean, it was just it was a true experience like um, it wasn't rushed it wasn't I didn't feel like I was you know like where's the food at and stuff like that and it wasn't awkward and I think that's something that I appreciated too is that she set the vibe so well that it made it almost impossible not to talk to someone or engage with someone we like literally we walked away with the whole group chat with the group of like when I was circled around and stuff like that like I didn't talk to every single person there but I talked to everyone around me outside of who I came with and I think that's what I don't you know I think that's a part of what she wants and wanted from this uh, tea party series is that she wanted to set a vibe and a tone to make it more comfortable and it's kind of like you know um, breaking the ice so that women can engage and talk and stuff like that because you're gonna talk about that you're gonna get there you're gonna talk about how great everything looks how the music is and how the vibe is set and how beautiful it is and of course you're gonna talk about what made you come here like why did you come and it was a lot of people uh, who I met who were creators such as myself entrepreneurs uh, women from my age to older um, women in school, women who are art out of school, women who um, are, are, are from Atlanta, just like myself. So I, I really, really, really appreciate that. But again, like the experience with the food, like the food was so good. It was really, really good. It felt like um, I was at a five-star restaurant, and I'm not just saying that because um, just to say it. But it was really good. It was super fresh. Um, it was super flavorful, and it was. 
more than enough it was I didn't feel like it was a small portion I didn't feel like it was too much but I felt like it was the perfect amount of food and I wasn't looking for more I felt very satisfied I think that's something when you're doing any type of event that consists with food is that you want to make sure especially like meals like that it's one thing if it's just like finger food and you're just passing it around and stuff like that at like a listening party or um, a sip and shop or something like that but for it to be a four course uh, meal I I think it was presented very like very 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 I didn't hear no one not talk about food every time I like, talk about how good it was so um, my only thing and I don't know if I saw this as an option because I just I can eat salmon or chicken my only suggestion is just not suggestion but like thing that I wondered is that if she would consider having like a vegan or vegetarian option just because I know some people don't eat meat but I don't know if she had that as an option because of course I'm just going through and pimping my stuff and paying for her but if she did then my bad for had to be that but if she didn't I would just think like maybe do that especially um there's a lot of people who are not eating meat and there's a lot of people who are pushing towards being vegan and the entire time I didn't feel awkward. I think that's what I really appreciate. You know how you go to events and you um, you go to like a, a dinner event or a um, women's circle or a women's dinner and stuff like that. It can be real awkward. People don't want to talk. Um, again, like I think she set the vibe so well to where it made it really impossible not to talk because you could talk about something. You would find something to talk about whether it's from the music selection to the food to the venue how you heard about um, Alexander Wimbush or anything like that so I think she I think that was what she was gearing towards because she didn't have to force anybody to talk it, it was genuinely and I really hope that um, all women in all the cities that she hits really picks up on that but I, I really enjoyed it and I really I think it was one of the best events I went to in Atlanta that was um, geared like especially for like women in Atlanta too not only enjoy like a beautiful and flavorful and bomb, I'm gonna keep talking about food because I love food, um, four course meal, but engage in like really stimulating conversations. Like it was just so refreshing to talk to other women who um, share the same space as you, not um, exactly, but you know, understand from when it comes to um, working a nine to five, you wanting to pursue entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur, you talk about the struggles as a creator, talk about the struggles as a woman, to talk about the struggles as a black woman, to talk about um, growth, um, to talk about the smallest thing, like things just like, you know, it just, it, these are events that I feel like I wish people would push more because um, I know as I'm getting older and just like really looking into like different things, it's just like, you know, going to a lounge is fun, going to a club is cool and stuff like that, even though I'm not really a big club person, but going to dinner and really engaging in conversation and really doing things that can not only be a good networking opportunity to progress you in your endeavors from if it's you being an entrepreneur and having a business or being a creator of any type of content like just i'm just rambling on that but it's just it's just a breath of fresh air to engage with other women they don't have to be your best friends but just the fact that i have a group chat and i need to to hit the girl like to hit all the girls up in a, in a chat just to see because we did say we wanted to like plan something to like go to happy hour or something like that but it's just like it was really it was really genuine and it's just really good like and refreshing to know that you know women can have a conversation and not feel like that they have to compete with each other not that i feel like that but it's just like society pushes us to feel like we have to compete to women when it comes to our beauty and when it comes to um our jobs when it comes to dating and stuff like that and I just feel like things like this and events like this pushes that that expectation away and brings in the conversation that no we can be empowering and still be pushing to our goals and being great while someone else is being great we don't have to compete with each other to be the most beautiful woman in the room or the most powerful woman in the room it's just you know someone has something to offer and I think that's what our generation is really realizing is that you know we we are so um, not only self-sufficient but just such like big creatives and think outside the box to where you know we're really hitting key moments in our life 
that are helping progress us as adults, such as things like this. I know I'm getting really deep, but I just, it was a really, really great event. Like I really had really great stimulating conversations and connected with a lot of great women. So would I recommend attending um, the Tea Party Series? Absolutely. I think it is a beautiful um, event. I think it is. it was very well planned. I feel like everyone was super professional. Everyone was super nice. Um, the food was amazing. The, the venue was amazing. So I'm sure she's going to make sure to keep selecting great venues. Um, is, and I don't think it's just for women, but I could be wrong. But if you are a woman or man who loves the brand and she is hitting your city, I would definitely suggest going. Um, the food is amazing. The vibe that was set was amazing. And the brand is amazing. And I'm inserting some clips, but um, I just, uh, from what she said and stuff like that too, because I, like her messaging behind her brand made me even love, love the whole experience more. Like I knew what she sold and what the purpose of it was, but for her to really like take us inside of what type of experience that she hopes that you know, people who purchase her, um, her self-care, uh, her piece in a box or candles or teas or anything like that, what type of vibe that she would want. And I think that's kind of what she wanted to do was just to set the vibe of what she sees um, her brand as and how she wants everybody else to see her brand. So I'm rambling again, but yeah, I definitely do recommend um, if she hits your city to definitely go. I think it was an amazing experience. I think it was, I do not regret um, going and purchasing my ticket. And so congratulations to Brittany for the first of many T-Series. I think this is going to be amazing. I loved it so much to where she said that her next one is going to be in New York, I believe. And I'm looking out for those dates to see if I can attend because it was really fun and I just want some more food, honestly. Even if it's the same thing from the Atlanta one, I don't care. I just want some more food and I want some more vibes. So yeah, I think you guys should definitely, if she hits your city, definitely, definitely, definitely check it out and see if there's any tickets available for you to go. Take one of your favorite girlfriends or boyfriends and just head on and go. Like I promise you, it's a great, and it's a good switch up to a girl's night out too. So yeah, I suggest that. So I grab a couple of your girlfriends and stuff like that and go. Like that'll be really, really bomb. I'm gonna link her brand down below and um, you can find all of her products from her bundles to just candles, teas, and all that. And I'll also link their Instagram um, below too and her actual Instagram too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and for me just talking about my experience for it and just enjoy, you know, hearing what I gotta say. If you guys like videos like this and want me to attend more stuff like it's within the Atlanta area to talk about it, if I think you should attend or not, let me know. Um, so again, congrats, Brittany. This was amazing. I had so much fun. I can't wait to see where you take um, Alexander Wimbush, and I'm very, very, very excited. This tea is amazing. Our candle smells wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video of me talking about my experience. And until next time, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.